before your ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There will be a link in the description, and if you use the code CHEZ, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again with another episode of the Chelsea Career Mode here on Xbox One. We're into episode number 39 at home against Fulham in the opening game. Now, although we've uh, we've been doing quite well recently, there is a topic of uh, of particular interest that I would like to talk about in this uh, in this particular episode. And of course, recently you have uh, we've made the jump from world class to legendary. As you can see, we're currently sat two points behind Arsenal. We're still doing quite well. We're still picking up points despite the jump up in difficulty. But the uh, the the gist of the topic today is basically how I feel the game goes about increasing the difficulty from World Class to Legendary and how it does it in a completely unfair way and an unrealistic way. Now if you follow me on Twitter you will uh, have seen me uh, or my raw reactions to what was going on whilst playing uh, both this episode and yesterday's episode trying to get the footage etc playing on Legendary. Uh, basically, the the way that it has increased the, the difficulty, or the way that it seems to want to increase the difficulty, is not by making the opposition play better football and uh, perhaps be more clinical in front of goal, etc. The way it tries to make it more difficult is in a more unrealistic way. It will enforce, or it will make a lot more unforced errors on your uh, on your CPU players on pl the players that I'm controlling my team can feel completely different to the side I was playing with on world class and nothing has changed other than the fact that we've up the difficulty level I'm not using different starting 11s I'm not playing in a different style I'm still using the same in-game tactics but first touches have gone to shit um despite you know years of playing FIFA I know where to place a shot, how much power to put in a shot, judging the player's balance and the weight of movement as they're uh, as they're playing the shot, or you know different variables as they're taking the shot. You know players uh, about and around them and the angle to the goal, etc. But everything seems to have gone out of the window when stepping it up to legendary. And it wasn't too much of an issue in the in the first two episodes that we did on legendary. But as I've played more and more of it, it just seems to be getting more and more ridiculous. This penalty here, I was in control of uh, the player that cleared the ball. You see Gary Cahill clears the ball there. And Rafael Varane just flies in all the way through and takes out Brian Ruiz through no fault of my own. And nothing like that has happened in the entirety of the season and a bit that we've done on World Class. And I am convinced that it's only starting to happen because the game is thinking right we need to up the difficulty level and they just they don't know how to do it without making my team make mistakes and that is how it has come across in the past couple of episodes especially with regards to uh, to unforced defensive errors uh, you'll have seen in that Fulham game I went to play the ball straight forward to David Luiz from, uh, from a goal kick who was unmarked had nobody near him and for some reason Courtois tried to shoot the ball out way way wide to Ashley Cole who was stood over by the touchline and was marked and they subsequently scored their first goal from that. That was not my doing, that was the game passing the ball out to, uh, to Ashley Cole when I didn't ask it to. Now you may think that I'm being a bit over the top with this but having, trying to play it, because I, I played all of last season on Legendary. I did the first season at Sunderland on FIFA 13 on World Class and we did the second and third seasons at Sunderland on Legendary and we did all of the Borussia Dortmund career mode on Legendary and had no problems with it whatsoever. I played, you know, before I did YouTube, I played every single career mode I've ever done on Legendary and had no problems with that sort of issue. But on FIFA 14, it doesn't seem to... this the like The game engine doesn't seem to know how to increase the difficulty and make the opposition play better football without making my players make uncharacteristic errors that I haven't inputted myself with the controller. They just don't do things that they would normally do or they will make stupid mistakes off the ball. And it's not anything that I'm doing as a on an input st uh, status. It's, it's, hard, it's really, really hard to try and put into words the way that I felt. Basically, I feel it feels like the game is purposefully making my team worse to try and give the impression of a higher difficulty. And it just it's felt so unbelievably unrealistic uh, that I, I'm just going to drop the, the, the game back down to world class. Now, I know of, in before we even jumped to Legendary, half of you were uh, pro and half of you were anti going up to Legendary. So maybe we'll try it again. Um, we'll jump back up for the beginning of the third season if we go into a third season uh, with Chelsea but for the time being I'm going to drop to world class till at least the end of this second season because unless I can in the meantime 
you know, away from camera and in other career modes, try and fiddle with uh, some slider settings potentially to uh, to go onto Legendary but make it more realistic then or maybe make World Class a little bit harder. Considering World Class seems to play quite realistically, maybe I could work, make uh, World Class harder than making Legendary easier because Legendary at the minute is just unrealistic and players are just making silly mistakes, the mistakes that they weren't making on uh, quote unquote easier difficulty settings, lesser difficulty settings, and it's really, really pissing me off. And as you can tell, as you can tell, I've ranted for five minutes on this. It's not something that I've taken lightly. Like you know that I'm quite OCD about realism and the way that I play my video games and how I try and make this series as a whole feel quite realistic. The way that I do the commentaries and I relate to the players as if they were, um, you know genuine human beings playing a genuine game of football as opposed to pixels on a on a screen on a video game and when it it when the game itself messes with that it to a certain extent upsets me you know i want to have a realistic and enjoyable and fun and challenging um experience when playing video games but at, at the moment on legendary with the basic legendary settings it's not a case of it's challenging it's a case of it's just downright unfair and uh, that is basically why I'm going to be dropping it to world class. Now, I've ranted about this for six minutes now. I'm going to stop. Let me know in the comment section down below what your experiences on Legendary are. If you've had something similar to this uh, happen to you or you've noticed something similar, then let me know. Um, I'm expecting at least some sort of backlash from this. I will be honest. I know you guys are always very, very honest in the uh, in the comment section. And I really do genuinely appreciate that because I, I'm fortunate enough to have a, a subscriber base that whilst they are honest, they're, if they are going to be negative, you're, you're honest in a constructive way. I don't just get hate comments. So I really do appreciate that. And if you do have anything negative to say about me dropping it back down from Legendary to World Class and or for the reasons that I have aforementioned, then feel free to let me know uh, because you know that's what YouTube's all about is having the interaction with the subscriber subscriber base etc and this has always been a channel where your interaction is at the forefront of what we do with uh, with the game as a whole so um, I'm gonna stop ranting about that now after uh, seven and a half minutes of the video and uh, I apologize for uh, for that but as you can see Sunderland have just taken a 2-1 lead in the last minute and <laughs> Weirdly enough, uh, I changed to David Luiz. If you go back and watch it, I changed to David Luiz. Was running back with David Luiz, and without me telling him to, he stops, looks up at the, the ball that's going over his head, turns to where Josie Altidore collects the ball, and then starts to run again. By which time, I've been forced to change player, and then Josie Altidore scores again, completely out of my control, and something that I feel, having you know, a vast amount of experience with FIFA, wouldn't have happened on World Class. I think it's purposefully done that because it's on legendary but let's get that out of the way shall we right we we're done with the whole i'm annoyed at legendary it's not coded very well i think that it makes me make mis not makes me make mistakes but it, it makes my players make mistakes and makes my players play worse on purpose to try and give the impression of a harder difficulty level um we're going to drop back to world class that's the way it's going to stay for the rest of the season and uh, i hope you guys can appreciate that fact but that's going to bring this episode to a close so like i say leave the video a like if you uh, you enjoyed which i guess there's not really much to enjoy but uh, leave me a like if you uh, i don't know no if leave a like if just to show support for the the channel and the decision if you do disagree then feel free to dislike the video but leave me a comment telling me why you've disliked the video and why you disagree with what i've said because uh, just disliking the video and then leaving isn't uh, a way to help me constructively improve the series that I'm trying to make for you guys. So that's how we're going to leave it. This one has been a long and hopefully productive yet at the same time unproductive episode. So uh, I will see you tomorrow with some more interactive Road to Division 1. I will see you Thursday with episode number 40 of the Chelsea Career Mode back on World Class. So thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time.